Hello guys and welcome back to the Bull Talk podcast. With me today I've got my regular lineup in Jack Ritchie. Evening. And the lovely Ben White. Hello. We've also managed to secure a little treat for you today in Tony Cornforth. Howdy. And obviously as usual we've got plenty of topics to talk about today so let's get started. Ranieri, uh, what's your opinion, Richie? Um, I, I think it's ridiculous. I think he's been there, what, 11, 12 games? I think it's less than yeah. three months. And <laughs> I just think it's ridiculous. That man can work miracles at any team. And to just get rid of him like that. I think now I want him to go down. I was tipping him to stay up, but now I, th- I think they're gone. For me. Do you reckon? I saw, yeah, I think so. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna. I think I disagree there. To be honest, um, I think I know you're saying he works miracles with obviously what he did with Leicester, but yeah. I thought it was the wrong appointment in the first place. I thought, yeah, I, yeah. Obviously, I you, can, you, I can you, see you go, you, you go. You go straight from Jukanovic to Ranieri. It's like it's such a difference because obviously Jukanovic has got fast playing football. You know the passing possession base. And Ranieri is just trying to sort up the defence at the back. I just felt that it was the wrong appointment and it was going far, far away from actually what Fulham were trying to do. And in doing so, they haven't fixed the defence and they're in an even worse position than they were. But then getting him in, they should have stuck with him. Yeah, I I do agree with you, but... Yeah, I I can see your point, to be fair. I think a big sound. I I, I think they they weren't going anywhere. They definitely weren't. They they had no momentum. I know they... um, no, they didn't win. They haven't won recently, have they? Recent, have they? No, they just lost to Southampton, one of their rivals, 2-0. And you, I just don't think you can forgive that, really. Not in my opinion. Yeah. Either. I think Big Sam would have been balls. a better appointment. Yeah, well, I think Big Sam would be a better appointment. He would have sorted out defence. <laughs> he <laughs> sorts any team out. Hmm. Yeah. Ben, you got any input? Uh, yeah, the, the amount of games he's lost, he definitely deserved to be sacked, but... They played a lot better today as well against Chelsea, I thought. You know, Chelsea did play poor. Yeah, I'll watch some of that. So they've already seen a big increase yeah. in how they're playing. So. His stature's, stature's fallen in the game, though, isn't it? It's got from, half from being a game at the full time. From being a no, Premier League winner. I, to, um, I, I, do think that, I do think when Yeri's... Well, it was just an anomaly, the winning thing. I think you saw yeah. the season after, they were like, hovering above the relations of Leicester for a variety of reasons. I just, I just feel... I think that was just one season wonder, really, completely. And it just out of nowhere. And they had them, and they had everything going for them. They didn't get any injuries. They, everyone else around them were awful, like all the top six teams. So I, feel, I, feel, I know that's Leicester, what their achievement was unbelievable. I think I, that was one of the best moments in sporting history, to, to be honest. But I do think it was just, you know, out, out, just, you know, out of nowhere, to be honest. I think it was poor business as well on their part, selling... A lot of their players. Yeah, yeah. Well, maybe. bringing in that many play- new players and expecting them to gel is it's always I, a tricky task. I think what's I think there's more things wrong with with the, the manager, like with uh, at Fulham than just with the manager. I think you're talking Definitely. about a few weeks ago about Chelsea as well. Yeah, it's sort of similar similar scenario. Like you just see that defence, you look at it, and you're like, what is going on there? They've like, lobbed, lobbed it's, money at the club. It's just Callum Chambers and CDM. You're just not sure <laughs> yeah, about are you as well. And, yeah, the thing is, they've lobbed the money yeah. at the club. They've signed some good players, but yeah, exactly. But they're, they're, just they're, they're not players not. that work well like, together. No. Like you think about it, Scherler, um, Mitrovic, they obviously signed because they had them on loan last season, and then Babel they got on loan. You got Seri. That's why well. I tipped them to stay up. It's and then what's that? Mitrovic is, that, is a goal scorer. That Inguisa guy they bought for like twenty million plus. Adults. Yeah. I haven't even seen him play. Like, it was what's it was touted. That, that, he was touted. <laughs> yeah, what about Seri? Is um, is it Seri? He's going to get a bad team yeah, sometimes now. I think he's been benched a lot. I've been going Callum Chambers instead, which is a bit... Well, that is bad. He must not be playing well if he can't get in ahead of Ch- Callum Chambers. Did he score today? I think Callum Chambers did score Yeah, he did. It was a, he was a good goal, yeah. to be fair. It's certainly not looking great for him. Um, I think thinking... most of them are the wrong sort of signings, though, as well. Oh, yeah. None of them got, like, Premier League experience. No, yeah. I think like they're going to... Like, signed Peter Crouch. They're going to come on stuck in the championship. <laughs> Having these players on these wages, no, probably. Yeah, I, I think Sherlock's a, a loan deal, isn't it? I think. 
Yeah, Sherla's loan. I think, um, yeah. what's his name? Babel might have been a permi. I'm not sure. I no, think... I think it was six months, I think. I think it was just oh, six month contract. That's but the thing. That's Some of these big signings, I wonder if they're actually going to be on like relegation clauses and stuff, or mm. that's really going to yeah. happen when they go down, because that could cause them some real problems. Some I, I, I know, I know this might sound a little bit like out of nowhere, but I feel Matt Target, they had him in the champ last season, and I feel that he was a massive miss when he went back to Saints from loan. They, just they tried to yeah. sign him though, didn't they? they yeah, did I know. They just haven't replaced him offers, but... They just haven't. Yeah. They, look, who they have at the moment is like Joe Bryan, is it, I think? Is there anyone else there? Yeah. Is, he, is he right back though, or is he left? I don't think it's left actually. Back. Give... I know uh, Foss uh, Mens is the right back, isn't he? Yeah, I, I feel yeah. like you saw like last season Fulham. I think in like uh, I think it was December in the champ for like yeah. mid table, and they went twenty three games unbeaten in the champ. I was thinking um, that session on push forward yeah. as well with Target yeah, exactly. and that team. And because because Target came in in January and Mitrovic came in in January, and those two players let the other team uh, the, the more like the better like technical players actually flow and then obviously take away target left back and then throw in money at the defence like Callum Chambers and um was it Alfie Mawson more more like yeah, just, yeah, just yeah, even even Zambo and Greaser he's a CDM. Exactly defensive just, sort of like I just don't think it's just not worked, has it? No. Oh it's just another word actually, sorry. It's the goalkeepers. That goalkeepers, the goalkeepers there. Oh, just, that's a mess. That is an absolute joke. <laughs> you bring, you have better Nelly, right? You last <laughs> and you bring in two fresh keepers, Rico and Fabri. Yeah. And then Fabri's not even playing at all, even on the bench. Better Nelly's getting in the England squad somehow still. Yeah, he's um, he's not even joke. playing. And then Rico's crap as well. So I don't know. <laughs> it's, that guy's yeah. just, just, that, that was they not just, what they kept fit. rotating at the early uh, beginning of the season, which didn't help. The fact they were just the fact putting they had one three after average other. goalkeepers is just yeah. Hmm. Is it, once again, watching that game today, Rico looks a bit dodgy. He pulled off a few good saves, but he still just looks a bit dodgy. He didn't look confident. So I just don't know how Tim Ream's still there. <laughs> yes. he's, he's come yeah, from Bolton they, they, you know it's bad like when the first uh, game obviously Scott Parker had today the first thing he did put McDonald back in yeah. <laughs> I mean that, I like that though I do like that yeah I do he played well like, he can actually yeah. do his job well I think Luciano yeah. Vieto was a bit of a disappointment as well yeah he was, he was quite good at Atletico wasn't he I think yeah well, I was thinking he was going to rip the Prem up but yeah they started playing on Martin, do, like right mid it. and stuff, I suppose. Mm. That didn't help either. Putting them all over the shot. The amount of strikers. Yeah, play quite a lot on the bench as well. Mm. So I think we've pretty much covered Ranieri's sacking in this. Uh, there's not really much more we can talk about Fulham without like, you know, slandering him. <laughs> so, are they gonna are they gonna hire anyone new or are they just gonna keep Scott Scott? Parsons? I think they're they got keep... part of the season. Have they? Okay. I, I, think, yeah. I think that was the right move from... Right, I do as well. Sort. I think, I think, I I think, think we need like... to do what we've done and just accept. I think that it's too late now. Yes. Yeah. Really Try and look forward to the championship. Get ready for it. Build for it. Yeah. I have to mention Huddersfield. I think a lot of people were slagging the chairman off for doing it, but I think he was in the right for, obviously, point blank saying we're not going to be putting any money in in January. And we yeah, are I we are down, that. we are yeah. down. You know, there's no point making the wage bill bigger for a risk. Yeah, you, th you, th you think about Burnley a couple of seasons ago when they got relegated, uh, they bounced straight back because they kept with Sean Dyche, much money, but they kept the squad together. They went down. They were in a good financial position. Added a couple of like shrewd signings to the champ. Got straight back up, and now they're pretty comfortable. Well, like I know they lost yesterday, but they're looking pretty comfortable, aren't they? Burnley in the yeah, league, so I, I wouldn't see them going really down well, this it, season. It, 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 that is, it, it may be Huddersfield if they can just make some really like good champ signings, and then maybe when they, if they get back into the Premier like a couple of years or something, then they can start trying to build if they've got that foundation and they've got a bit yeah. of money. We've got that experience. We know what it takes now a little bit. Yeah. So I think the problem with signing players like Munier, just mer bit bit sort of mercenary like, isn't they? They don't perform mm. every game. Yeah, but I suppose he came in and did what. When you, like when you got players like Moy, I think I think I think Huddersfield have suffered without Moy, haven't they? This season, when he was yeah. out for like two months, and then you didn't, you but he was like eight wins, no, eight a streak of eight winless games, I think. Thing Moy is, we can't just rely on him so much. It's like when he goes to international duty, he has to go 
what you halfway no the whole like obviously to Australia yeah which is just ridiculous and I remember in the chat when we were playing one week he came back on a Friday night and played on the Saturday yeah I, I, so I that would just show you sort of player he's like yeah. when obviously when we played team. played you in the champ player final to the 2017 like I, we were watching that game and Huddersfield were better than Reading obviously and they went through on penalties but Moy was by far the best player just had so much class he was he was the only real prem player on that on that um, pitch I felt anyway oh 100% the one that could, the one that could get he's, the only, he, he's probably the only player who could get out of that team and go yeah. into another prem team and be so I good mm. so, we've got a task of keeping hold of them uh, hold of them yeah We'll have to see. Well, I think we've pretty much covered Fulham. So we'll <laughs> move on. <laughs> this time we will move on. Yeah. Um, what do you guys think about Brendan Rodgers giving up Selwick? Obviously, it's another title he could have added to his accolades. And he's he's taken the Leicester job. Yeah. Um, Richie? Um... It's a difficult one because he he's, he said that he feels he's achieved all he can that there, but obviously the Celtic fans are giving him a lot of abuse and stick about it. But I suppose I didn't agree with him turning around and saying he's going to return there one day. Like I don't know, like they're not going <laughs> to want him back there now, are they? So I don't know why he turned around and said that. But, um, I don't know. He he could do well, but obviously he didn't have a good start today. I think from Rogers' point be... of view, the accolades. You, when you have Scottish Premiership on your accolades, it's not really like with Celtic. It's not really. I'm not saying it's not hard to do, but it doesn't really add up to say winning the Scottish Premier League with Aberdeen or Hibernian. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I do. Yeah, he had the squad there, didn't he? He's added. You know, he did you've got the money. Silence, but yeah, he's just the powerhouse <laughs> of that league. I think for me it's the timing a little bit, which I think just caught a lot yeah, of people off. Yeah, it's it's more that he's just gone. Like Leicester sat their manager two days later, they've hired Brendan Rodgers in the middle of like <laughs> or the beginning of March, and you're thinking, you know what? He had the he had the chance to go for like the treble treble, I think, didn't he in Scotland? I think yeah, that's what. Yeah, I think I think, it, I think what it was, and he obviously he's got the League Cup already, I think, in the bag, and then he's I think they're going they're like eight points clear or something at the top of the um, Premier Premiership, and. I think they're in the, they're in the cup, so they could have got the treble, treble, and then leave at the end of the season, and then obviously Celtic have time. We've been here, like, right? Rebuild. And Leicester said they would wait, though, didn't they? So. Exactly. It's Leicester's. It's, it's, in the end, it is Leicester's are saying coming in and wanting him immediately, which I don't know if yes. I agree with. I feel, I feel that they were fine anyway. You know what I mean? They could have just, you know, oh yeah, definitely. Along, yeah. Just been away, steady yeah. and like maybe maybe giving it to like someone in the club again and get. Get Jamie Vardy happy again because obviously he's been about set round the Poel and he's a really important player in that squad. Um, but obviously he scored today, so maybe I'm talking that rubbish. But <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I just Back think it's the, the timing. I think it's, an, it's annoyed a lot of Celtic fans. Um, yeah, I, I also think that it's quite funny though because I, I think it was year 2000 when Martin O'Neill left Leicester for Celtic. <laughs> um, Irony. And Martin O'Neill was like, uh, "Oh, it's big, bigger move. I'm going to a bigger club." Blah blah. blah. And like, what? To 19 years later, it just shows how the balance <laughs> has switched from Celtic to a mid-table Premiership club from Leicester. That Brendan Rodgers can leave Celtic halfway through the season to go to Leicester. <laughs> I think I just think that's really funny. Or <laughs> well, not funny, but you know, just interesting anyway. I think what made me laugh more was Neil Neil Lennon. <laughs> he just straight away went, "Yeah, I'll have the job back." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. To be said fair, he, um, he said he's learned from his mistakes, I think he said. <laughs> yeah. You know, he's happy he just, winning the Scottish Prem for the next four years. He did seem a bit cocky when he was there, wasn't he? He's like, yeah. get any job and goes to Bolton. What was it, Bolton? Yeah, it was, it was Bolton. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, I you know, he's, arg- he's arguably got a better um, you, um, uh, European record than Brendan Rodgers anyway. You know, Lennon. Like they've got, they've actually got to. It's a good appointment on their behalf to the end of the season. Twice, I think, in the Champions League. Like he knows the club, like thick it night through. So Mm -hmm. I don't think they could have got anyone better than him. Like I think that was no. I think I think he suits them. He suits them, doesn't he? Yeah. Down to the ground. That's the thing. If he does well, then they keep him on. I would imagine. So if he does well, he's going to win the league. (laughs) Yeah. 
I think you'd, you'd have think... to be a really bad manager not to win the league now with Selwood. Yeah. I think, yeah, I think, I think there, has, there, has, there has been a little bit of like competition this year, hasn't there? Like early on in the yeah. season, like Hearts, which oh, yeah. experience has been certain about. Yeah. I think Kilmarnock have been there about something, there, I think. So, yeah. but obviously, I think Celtic is just class and squad depth have just kind of soldiered them through the last couple of months and now they've got a bit of a gap and it's back to normal. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. back to boring old Scottish football. Uh, sorry if anyone here is <laughs> into Scottish football. but Saying that, so, if know, we're talking about Scottish really. football, I'll mention Alawa Athletic. Uh, just because I like their badge. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a wasp on roids. You, you, any, you should check it out. Anyone who's listening, check it out. It's a good badge. <laughs> but I'll also bring up Chris Sutton and his views, obviously. He said that the Celtic reserves are bigger than Leicester. <laughs> After Brendan sure, Rodgers has moved to the Premier League club. And mm. it's like, nah. The Celtic... for it. Celtic reserves. Mm. Not even Celtic's first team. To be Celtic's not yeah, big fan of Leicester. The championship are the best, and most of the bloody other teams in Scottish league are both League One teams, so or, or yeah. less. <laughs> yeah, or less than that. Yeah. You go into a Scottish who, who champ, it? and that's equivalent to say League Two. Um, yeah, who was it? Adam, Adam Mooney, wasn't he? He went to Salford City, and he, he was a yeah. Pro, uh, yeah. Scottish Premiership. Yeah, Aberdeen were good when he left as well. That's straight from <laughs> well, the Premiership, the premiership yeah. to, to the conference. Like, can you can that be more of an insult, really, to the Scottish Premiership? <laughs> That's my... <laughs> I know that Celtic's got a lot of money. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? It's just yeah. it's a bit of a joke. It is dire. Obviously, any Scottish listeners would be going, oh, Scottish League's great, we've got history and heritage, and it's like... No, that's like me saying the Icelandic League is great, just because I like following it. It's just not gonna not gonna rumble yeah, me. I'll give it. I'll give it. The Scottish Premiership was something a while ago. It had it had some it was better back. Yeah. It was, yeah. but nowadays it's just not the quality. just not there, and that's just, just yeah. it might be sad to see from some point of view, but that's just the truth. Things move on. I think some people just need to accept that. Though. More better competitions, you know, rise up than the Scottish yeah. Premiership. That's just, what, that's just too happened. much of a dip. You've got like you, yeah. what, your top three now. Is it top four? Mm. Top three. And then Surely you've just some got... of them fans must just find it a bit boring just seeing Celtic win it every year. I don't know. Yeah. It's just for me, I would find that just a bit boring. I think that's so where the Premier like, League has oh, the beauty. Oh, we at the moment. That won't last. <laughs> you know, I know City are probably going to nick it again, but it, you do have that beauty of well, the, title fair, race, know, like, the title race. The title race. Yeah. Yeah. But it yeah, shows exactly. with Leicester winning it. I think, think Jay hit, 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 uh, hit, hit the nail on the head there. It's a race here. A title race. I know last season it really wasn't and City completely dominated, but this season it's really been quite entertaining. But then they were that good, to be fair. Yeah, but and then all the other teams yeah. weren't that great either. Like Liverpool have really stepped up this season. I know over the last few weeks they've been pretty poor, but... Um, They're terrible today. They were, they were pretty yeah. bad today. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> ran, rings ran think, all day. Again, again yeah, you're getting that pressure charged. thing, though. It was, it, it was Rodgers in charge last time it happened, wasn't it? When they went to Palace yeah. and... So, drew yeah, three three and slipped, then yeah bring that up for <laughs> I think that's happening again but we'll, we'll talk yeah. about that later well hopefully not yeah. so we've covered the Scottish Scottish um, league I can't really talk much about it because I'm not I'm, I'm not an advocate of it at all yeah. <laughs> it's a league I'll give it that but then so's the yeah. Welsh Premier League <laughs> <laughs> so hey, can I just say something on a like Brendan Rodgers as well yeah just like I think, in terms of the move, like for him, I think it's a pretty good move. As I think we've all yeah. established from Celtic to Leicester, it's quite a good move for him. But I'm not yeah. quite sure if it's going to work. Um, that's not for him. That, that's... Yeah, not, not, that's that's not because I don't yeah. like Brendan Rodgers because of things he's done with Reading and the Bahas, whatever. But because <laughs> I just feel that Leicester, what Jamie Vardy on the counter attack, it's just that's their main weapon, and he likes to play possession football. Yeah. Oh. I know they've got. I know they've got a good squad, and I know they're they're trying to transition into this passing football, and that's obviously that's what the chairman, or well, has gone for. But I just don't know. I feel that unless Brendan can Jamie change Vardy, players, yeah, until Jamie Vardy really like leaves or is 
sort of ashed out the squad, like in maybe the next two years, I think that's when they can start to transition. It's probably it'd be we, quite hard to get him into that sort of player, like we'll just uh, yeah, exactly. Take him and, over and, his like, age, he is, as he well. is 30, just, he's quite stubborn, really. Yeah, he's 30. 30. And yeah. I think he's, so that, he's quite a highly so, influential player as well. Yeah, he's yeah, someone you want to be keeping definitely. happy. Yeah, if he's not no. happy, I expect some other some of the other players that might be happy. Yeah, he's the, exactly. the bread and butter, isn't he? But Leicester, the the last losing streak they went on, they've got a left back who's English, you know, in the England England squad. They've he's, got a centre back from England, I'm, England squad, Harry Maguire. How did it go to pot? <laughs> Mm. What with Paul Well, you know? Yeah, this he had the he has the players. He was just I think he was just not very charismatic. He didn't get the pairs up for the games. Obviously you see he's quite a boring. He seemed a bit yeah, I was so, gonna say yeah. he seemed a bit down that like, time. So and like obviously that's like, obviously didn't he he got to the League Cup final with Southampton and the, and it was eighth I think they finished that season as well, and then he got sacked and everyone was like, Oh what's going on? Everyone outside of Southampton were like Oh my god, that's pretty poor business. He's good to finish. Yeah, Samson. Oh, all all, 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 all yeah. Samson fans I I uh, heard because obviously we live near Samson. We're like, yeah, we we need to get rid of him. He was sucking them. Yeah, like, now look at him. They're probably and then to you be can you can, you can you can I know they they might beg to be, but if they want entertainment, then they can get entertainment. I mean, I I it's it just depends, doesn't it? Really, if you want if you want success, like over good football, then maybe you should go for someone like Powell. But. If you want entertaining mm. football, we're all big Sam men. Down there, we are all big Sam men, so. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but if you if you get my point there, anyway. Yeah. I think with Puel, I just think it's just a lap. Like he, he was there for about what, fifteen months or something. I think he just took it as far as he could. Because that's think... what we said last week. That's it. Yeah. Like saying that, like. I felt he's had enough time to sort that team out. And I just yeah. don't think he's done enough. I, I think you just fell so. out with Jamie Vardy, and if you do that, then you're not going to really. Last that much longer. Mm. That kind of wraps the Leicester, Leicester slash Scottish League chat. We'll move on. I've got a question for you guys. Is the FA Cup as big as it used to be? No. Go, no. <laughs> Go on. Yes. <laughs> why, why would you say no? That it really no. matter. Yeah. Why would you say right. no? This season, I think it's taken the piss a little bit. Before, I like the FA Cup, even if, even if my team don't get through, I like watching it. But this season, I think they've just completely gone off the rails. Um, and it starts, and like maybe, I don't know, you're obviously a non-league fan, Ben, and you watch it. You train to be in that position, don't you? You, you, you rarely like, see, yeah, you rarely see so, an FA Cup but, round. <laughs> no, it's, and, but, like, but when, but when like, what, what round do you start in the conference? What round is it? Uh, it's usually second or third qualifying round. Okay, so but when you get so I don't know much about it before it gets to the third round, but when it got to the third round this year, I think there was ten three o'clock games out of thirty-two <laughs> on a, on Saturday. Ten. It used to be th- all thirty-two. Like I don't, uh, I just couldn't. I couldn't get my head around that. I really couldn't. It's I think they said it was to it? do with did he rewrites and they wanted like I think there was five games at half twelve. Ten games at three o'clock, five games at half five. Oh, and that, yeah. They want they wanted um, what they wanted like more countries to be able to watch in the sports bar have like five TVs on all with different <laughs> games, or whatever. It was international reasons, I think they said it was. But yeah. it's more it's more it's more the hypocrisy that they come up with. And, like, it's when they say, "Oh, the magic of the cup." Oh my God, you can't be slating it. Like you're going, "Oh, it does my head in." If people say, "Oh, the FA Cup's not as big as it was," they're not helping themselves. They're really not no. helping themselves. If they're putting, if they're making slots at what half twelve, three o'clock, half five, and then on Sunday and then on Monday and on Friday night as well, so there's like eight slots I think there is to watch FA Cup. <laughs> like it's not helping themselves. So they want oh, to I hate them Friday the, night games. You no, know, it's yeah. just like the tradition of the FA Cup. They're yeah. sucking the tradition out of it, not us. The thing is, the FA Cup used to be, you know, I'm talking before our time. You'd have that one big game on at the end of, you know, the end of the season, and it'd be on telly. It'd be that one FA Cup game, and yeah. it's turned into us literally watching Warrington play Exeter, and you know, you know, that's what the FA Cup's games about. Like that. Yeah, yeah, but exactly. That's what the FA Cup's team about. Team I agree. A chance, but in the third and fourth round, yeah, we're watching like round two, round three games, and yeah, I just don't I mean, do the start of the FA Cup's more interesting than the end of the FA Cup. I, I think as I a agree. business I want to see Man United play Chelsea. I want to see Swindon play Woking. 
That's <laughs> so I, kind of I mean, I, I want to watch Sin Swindon play Man City or like Newport play Man City. Yeah, I was yeah. Saying, like, You want to see the small team against the big they're, teams. They're the sort of games you want the to see. Underdogs. Yeah, everyone you want loves an underdog underdogs. story. But I think yeah. for the smaller clubs, it it's beneficial from a business point of view. Yeah, the, the you money get a win in the FA Cup, you get a couple of grand. And as a non-league side, that that's helping you out a massive amount. That's... It was, I think. Sorry, sorry, Jay, to carry on. And I was just going to say that you know that that money could cover wages for a couple of weeks for a club. It does make a yeah, difference I on the that, books. And that, see, I, I I do agree with that. But also, they say it's for the smaller clubs and all that. But halfway through this season, they decided to cancel fifth round replays as well. I think, yeah, it's fifth round. So halfway through it, and they said it was because all six of the English teams in Europe got through to the next phase. And they were like, oh my God, they might get fixed to congestion. So we're going to get rid of the fifth round replay and so the, so the teams have more time to rest. Yeah. Now, surely that again is hypocrisy from their part going, oh my God, the magic of the flop, or oh, it's all about replays. And they're Put getting other the... things before it. Exactly. It's supposed they're... to be this big competition. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And it's just like, you do it halfway through a season as well because because the big six teams in the country get through to the next phase and you're just like, that's not really fair on the just other clubs. Just undermines the really fair the on the other clubs. In think, like you say, you were talking about They've the prepared money. for that game, I would imagine. You, you, you're, nice. you're talking about the money that they get as well. Like, money for like Luton or someone, maybe not Luton, but Eastleigh, let's say, to go to United at Old Trafford. Let's say they yeah. had them at home first. They wouldn't get that much money from home because it's obviously they haven't got much money um, to make. They haven't got much of a home capacity. But if they got if they took them to a draw and then they wanted to go back to United, they haven't got that option anymore because the fifth round replay's gone. No. So that's just that's it, and that's why. And it's they get the ticket shopping, sales. Really. That is shocking yeah, because a lot of teams rely on that. They well, push for yeah, that. Yeah, no. Because they they get I think it's forty five percent, isn't it, on the ticket sales yeah. in the FA Cup? And when you so when you go into like, a ground like Anfield, you're looking yeah. at near a million. A million quid. So you're looking at about a couple hundred thousand for that club, That's if it. not more. And they're just being, what's the word? Well, cheated out of that chance of greedy. getting it's them that money. It's greedy, yeah. really. It's greedy from the higher clubs again. It's it's more. It's getting the wealth distribution, the gap between the two. It's just getting wider and wider and wider, and that's just that's and that's the way it's going. And it's sad to see, and that's why the FA Cup's pissed me off. It's nothing to do with the actual FA Cup. Yeah. In general, I think it's a good competition. I think it should be as good as it is. It's, but I think it's more the way that, like the FA, have actually, like, muddled with it, meddled with it. To then, I think they've screwed it up themselves. And then they are asking, like the BT Sport advert, when they were like the magic of the cup. And then I think someone's <laughs> head got shaven off or something because he said there was no magic <laughs> left in it. And you're like, what? <laughs> and you're just like, oh. But like, they're getting rid of stuff key features of the FA Cup and I just that's why I'm a I'm, I'm a bit annoyed about it this year especially see bit of um, a side bit of a side note I don't like VAR in the FA Cup <laughs> and I, don't, we could, I don't like VAR in general so we, we could talk yes, about VAR know. all day long I'm, I'm not an yeah. advocate of it um, we, we seem to talk about that every week we do, we so. do. <laughs> but I was watching the Southampton Derby game I think I mentioned this last week as well and it just takes too much time you're watching an FA Cup game. It's like, oh, have Derby have scored? Oh, wait, no. Five minutes yeah, on, disallow goal. And that annoys yeah, me. Being a fan, I'm sitting there watching two teams that I don't support, enjoying the game, and VAR yeah, ruins night, it for me. Yeah. No, I, I 100% agree. I think I think the problem with VAR is what it is. is that I think the, the idea is a good idea. The execution is poor at the moment. Really yeah. poor. And I think... Yeah. I think the problem we have is that we haven't decided, we haven't got, got a proper like rule book anymore, or laws of the game. Like, especially with the handball, this like you get one pundit in like match of the day studio saying, "Oh, that's a handball," and the other one going, "Oh no, it's not a handball." They're decisive. So how is VAR going to help with that after they've got all the video, they've looked all the videos? You got to get the law down. You got to get, oh, it's cut or dry, and then you can start using video technology to have those decisions. Because until then, it's just not going to work. Yeah. I think one thing I want to say is with the draws of the FA Cup, I want to stop seeing Ian Wright every time. <laughs> hey? I like seeing it. Golf. Every Better week, seeing Ian golf Wright like, giggling like a schoolgirl in the shittest suit <laughs> I've ever seen in my life. I just had to get that out because it was getting wound up. <laughs> yeah, we can move on if you want. But, you're in the yeah. VAR competition. But... 
Can, yeah, can, I know. Can, they, not, can they not out. poach? That was more important. Can they not poach Jason Roberts? Yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> Bring back Jace. But we've got a bit yeah. of a controversial topic now following the FA Cup. Um, really controversial, and that is whether obviously Adam Johnson should be allowed to play football again after he's been released from prison for obviously. I won't go into detail, but the accusate well, the accusations, the crimes he committed. And we'll start with you, Jack. Do you have much to say um, on whether he should be allowed to play? I don't know? have a lot to say about it, to be honest. Um, it, it's difficult because obviously a lot of people see it as if he served his time, then yeah. he should be able to do what you like. They see it as that, but obviously. What he's done isn't right, and he's a role model in the sport, football in general, and people look up to footballers. So in that sense, me seeing it as that, I would say no, because you're a role model in that sport, and, and people look up to you. Young the issue I would have... You, all people look up to you. So. The issue I have is the fact that he would be playing in front of children, and, you know, it's not going to be sweep, swept under the carpet. Wherever you go, you're going to have chants going on about it. You, it's going to be everywhere. Yeah, it's, it's not going to be easy for him, is he? I wonder so if I, anyone knows if he's I think said for, he wants to go into football. For yeah, the okay, sake of I'll kids watching it. the games, I don't think he should. Just because of the... Ben, obviously... you know a bit more about this. Um, has he said more... that he wants to go back into football? Or, you know? Well, no, I, I don't really know a huge amount about it. To be honest. I think he does want to get back into football, but I don't think he'd be able to. It's not the case of the fans or... Anything like that. No sponsor is going to stick with that club. And he's only going to yeah. get a club around the League One, League Two area. And for those mm. clubs, those yeah. sponsors is it worth are massive. It? Yeah. So That's they're not the going to yeah. have worth it? Adam playing and his wages. Over a massive, losing a massive sponsorship deal. So. I mean, I think it's the same with like when Chad Evans obviously came out a few years ago and then he obviously got um, made innocent afterwards, didn't he? I think. Yeah. So. I think that's what the difference was because I think was it just was it Jessica Ennis Hill she yeah she was, Sheffield uh, United yeah. removed Sheffield her um, thingy one of like, her names obviously. took off the stand yeah. Yeah. so and like you look at that and then Chad Evans obviously was proven innocent afterwards you you think yeah I don't think it's, I don't think it's, he's got a chance to get back into it especially not in England anyway he might nah. be able to go abroad and it might, maybe and it Turkey might be okay. I know he was Something looking like at yeah, Turkey exactly. yeah. Turkey, Turkey just seems to be like the naughty step for most players. Anyway, anyone who's, <laughs> anyone who's a bit naughty always goes off to Turkey. <laughs> so, so may well see him in a Fenerbahce shirt or something. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Come start the next season. That would be amazing. I, I think like isn't it Nasri <laughs> I, I, I went off over there after his drug thing. I think yeah, yeah. before his drug. <laughs> so I don't know. It's, but yeah, it's just like yeah. I mean, it's anyway, a touchy it's subject to talk about. But, but yeah, I just don't you know. think he's going to be able to come back into the English game anyway. Not any level, because I think he's just too known for what he's done. And I think, obviously, yeah. what Richie was touching on, role models, you, you don't really want to be that parent explaining that <clears throat> Ad, you shouldn't be cheering for Adam Johnson. No one's getting Adam Johnson in the back of the shirt, are they? Nah. <laughs> so that's the back or getting his shirt sales, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> One shirt, Sam, and it's just his son or something. Oh, Christmas. Adam Johnson shirt. I think so. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just furious parents. <laughs> You're going to your room. Yeah. Uh, there's no Christmas now. But, um... <laughs> yeah, I think there's not really too much to talk about that, because it is a touchy subject for some. I've, I, I, obviously, we will, we're all on, on the same wavelength. He shouldn't be playing again, but he'll probably go to Turkey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what we've. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't think he shouldn't be playing again. It. I think, I think, as I said, in England, I think it's not okay to play again. But I think, yeah. like he obviously, to, to, he's served his time to rob him from playing football as well. I think maybe it's a little bit. Uncool yeah, I mean, that's what the justice system is for. He could recreate himself, could not he? Exactly. Like, not like, as many people it, would know. Yeah. So he I might mean, be able to do it. From his point of view, he's made a mistake. You know, it's not like they found any loads of images and that on his phones or anything like that. Mm. He's made the mistake. He's misjudged the situation. And, you know, move on from there. But, yeah, like Ben said, sponsor-wise, that no club's going to really want to have him on the books. 
So it will, it will be a foreign club. So we... They seem to like to do that, don't they? Yeah. So, I like foreign clubs. So we'll, we'll move on to the viewers' favourite time of the week. The main feature in this show, which is Jack's Quiz. So um, yeah, I'm we'll just get I'm that jingle going. Drop your perch. <laughs> Richie's Quiz of the Week. Right, this week's quiz is on uh, Premier League stadiums. Uh, mm. Obviously, we've got Jay, Ben and Tony. Jay fancies his chances of winning again. He's obviously Always. got the first two weeks. Ben's done absolutely nothing, so I'm hoping he does something <laughs> today. Tony fancies his chances, so oh, yeah. we'll Big see time. how he gets on. All right, starting with you, Tony, because you're the uh, newbie this week. We'll go with um, biggest Premier League stadium capacity. Uh, capacity. Not, no, capacity. Or yeah. what stadium it is? Um, yeah, the, the capacity. So you can name, you can name the stadium. What it, that is it though? So oh, by in, in terms of yeah. oh, by capacity. Oh, sorry, yeah, yeah. Um, Old Trafford. Ah, oh, for good sake! Yeah. Fuck off. Maybe I've made this too <laughs> easy this week. Yeah. All right. Um, I'll go with you, Ben. Smallest stadium. Smallest stadium. Um, Turf Moor. No. Jay. Um, I think that's around the twenty thousand mark. What is Huddersfield Stadium? Uh, the Gale or John Smith's John Smith Stadium? Uh, no, Tony. Uh, it'll be Dean Court or the Vitality. Oh, for God's sake! Not bad. Can we have Gus back <laughs> next week? I'm not having this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, right um, Gus. <laughs> oldest stadium. Hashtag it. Uh, we'll start with you, Jay. Uh, Selhurst Park. <laughs> no. I'm, a, I'm a Palace fan. I'm gonna. I don't know uh, any other stadiums. Uh, Vicarage Road. No. Tony. <laughs> <laughs> um, Anfield. No. Jay. I've already said so. Hurst Park. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to think of stadiums. <laughs> what's, what's quite old? Turf Moor. Uh, no. Ben? Um, St. James' Park? Ben. No. Tony? Um, uh, Goodison Park? No, it wouldn't be Goodison. It won't be Goodison, no, because obviously, uh, I don't know, I haven't got a clue. Uh, I would say Goodison, whatever. No. Ben? Um, Stanford Bridge. Ben! Come up with one. Fuck off, you knob. You never get points. Sick of one. Sorry for my language All as right. well, but you, you never get points. Yeah. <laughs> Newest stadium. Starting with you, Jay, as you ain't got a point. It's getting embarrassing. Thanks for the pity. Um, I think I'm going to nail it with the Amex. No, but I think that's the second. Ben? Oh. Um... Obviously not including that. When they were in there. Vitality? No. Um, Tony? Uh, the London Stadium, because it's the Olympics, 2012. Yeah. Tony coming up, Trumps. Fucking. Get Gus on now. Get that hashtag yeah. out there. <laughs> I'm having it. <laughs> okay. This is the last question. Well, I'm um, out of the running. Who has, but... <laughs> who has sold out most of their stadium this season? On average, so filled it up. Starting with, I'll start with you, Ben. Um, Stamford Bridge. No, Tony. Anfield. No, Jay. Um, bit, 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 bit out there, but Southhurst Park. <laughs> How's that a bit out there? When you get them every just, time. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> ben? Um, London Stadium? Yes, Ben, but unfortunately, it doesn't matter. You've got two points this week, but who top dog is Tony McPro. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> woo, 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 woo. 
And somehow Jay's got no points, even though he's a reigning champion. Well, th this week, mm. Tony, the reward is nothing but bitterness from me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've experienced my fair bit of that during the years, so I can handle it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, that's the uh, quiz done. Well, that's uh, Richie's feature of the week done. We will start with. Yeah, well, I think I'll uh, do my usual feature. That's becoming a weekly thing now. Um, I'll give me honourable mention. You know, I'm the kind of guy who likes these sorts of players, like Abel Xavier. Um, like Jason Roberts is you were ruined in dance and my honourable mention this week will be Marwan Fellaini who shanged on the men managed to secure for 11 million and he scored in his debut and won the team the game so that's my honourable mention we'll move on to the weekend results as we usually do this time of the podcast and where, where should we start off Jack? Um, we could talk about Liverpool and do we think they're throwing it away? And they've choked in it. In the sense that they've, yeah, they've got uh, what seven points clear, down to now one point behind. Watched them again today, and they're just like, one at it, in my opinion. Not yeah, compared to what we've seen them at this season. Mm. Mm. I thought I thought Salah was particularly like not particularly bad, but he just had a bit of a. I think that was quite <sighs> annoying game. To be honest. There was yeah, but Salah he kept getting in positions and just kept missing, and you feel that. I saw that like, extra touch he took when he was went yeah. for on for Pickford and just thought, I don't know, like if that was last season's Salah yeah, would he have done it a bit different. He would probably would have done that, but then you think about like their rivals City and you think Sterling, even though Sterling's not the greatest you think Sterling would put at least one of them away. Guerra would probably push about all of them away to be honest. And you you just think they're just really lacking they're just not clinical at the moment. There's lacking that no. bit of cutting edge, aren't they? They can't, they've what, two draws? No, two, two draws. Two wins in the last six, four draws in the Premier League. That they've yeah. Over those last six games, what, they've dropped eight points and that's obviously where City have now come back straight back into it. And and now they're obviously managing to have a one-point lead over them. Yeah. Well, I think that's it. Klopp has done a good job. Oh, yeah, Klopp, I understand. He's a quality mate. He's took a hit over from Brendan. They were a bit of in the bit of the shits, weren't they, in 2016, was it, I think, the other 15? Yeah. I can't remember when it was. But, but yeah, I think, again, it's, it's just the consistency and the game. Yeah, he's done a fantastic job. The game today, Mane, Salah. Yeah. Salah was getting in, getting into the positions, but... M Mane was really poor. Like, when yeah. he, was, he was just all over the place. And... Oh, That's yeah. the thing. It, it shows, even when James Milner comes on, you would say, like, Mr. Reliable in the sense that he'd yeah. come on and do his job. Yeah, shocker, Came didn't on, he? And I've never seen him play that bad. Yeah, no, I, know, I agree. Especially in the like, Liverpool shirt. You would, th you would think he's a steady Eddie. You'd think he'd do a, come on, do a job. Do, do what he needs to do. The amount of passes he was misplacing, his touch yeah. it was poor. Do, do what I know. He was, place. he was shooting more often as well. And I was like, that's not James Miller. He didn't shoot that often, does he? Like, on a couple <laughs> of areas. Yeah. On the edge of he was trying to shoot. And I was like, hold on, Milner. What are you doing there? Like, Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We'll say someone who's been okay is there Dan Security. He didn't play today, did he? Yeah, he didn't play at all. They didn't bring him. They were a bit surprised they they didn't bring him on. I think because he, he, he has been Although, good this season. Banging in a yeah, few. Yeah, he's won goals. a lot of points actually. To be fair, Security he has won a lot of points. Then. Yeah. But I think mm, Robertson would you, would as well. You, yeah, I th I think he got a lot of criticism criticism this game, didn't he, Robertson? But yeah. I thought he got run all over today by Richarlison. But Richarlison was only he came on for the last thirty minutes and yeah, that, that last thirty minutes, Evan ruled over him. Yeah, oh. but you got to expect that he's a sub off, yeah. the, off the bench. He's gonna have more energy. Exactly. Robertson did his job and kept a clean sheet in the end. Like that's quite oh, hard to do. Can't in the ask any more. That's that's like, what he's got to put first. Yeah. So you yeah, not really crit you got to criticise the forwards yeah. before you criticise. It's, it's, it's a team effort. It's not just that. Van Dyke does make a lot of difference. I'm not going to deny that. But Robertson is probably the best, in my opinion, the best left back in the league anyway. So I, yeah, I don't, I don't really know what I don't to know, say I think, about that. I think Pap Suarez is challenging. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. Okay, but we'll give him Pap Suarez, you know. <laughs> Well, he's got Afcon coming up, so uh, he's going to be yeah. one of the. Mendy, who would like challenge yeah, I think that, Mendy's, but he doesn't stay fit. 
Yeah, he doesn't say. Like, he, he, he just likes saying he too much. Yeah, like the, fa- like the fact he was out for the whole year because of his left knee last season, and this season he had to have an operation on his right knee. You're just thinking, he's had two operations in two years on both knees. You're thinking in the back of your head, mm. is he going to play? Is he going to stay fit for a whole season ever in his life again? Which is a sad thing to say, but it's probably going to—it's probably going to be true. He's probably never going to stay fit. One good thing about that is Sivchenko playing a lot, and like he ain't amazing, but it's nice to see. He's not even a left back, like Sivchenko. He's not yeah, even he's doing a job what they need. Yeah. Need him to do the job, and he's playing. I mean, what, I saw City yesterday. They did see that yet? We'll see twenty-three shots against zero against Bournemouth, like the fourth time it's ever yeah. happened. <laughs> like the, the team has not registered a single shot, let alone on target. Like City, yeah, they're just doing the, they're doing the business, aren't they? Really? I can't really fault City, to be honest. No, I mean they're not playing that well, but they're winning games in a in contrast yeah. to Liverpool. That's what you've got to do when you're up there, yeah. even when exactly. You just got to get the results. That's why they're a point clear. We'll Mm. move on to the bottom of the league. (laughs) Who's who's going to be down there near near this season? I think it's safe to say Fulham and Huddersfield written off. No, (laughs) I'm not having that. (laughs) (laughs) You're gone. Accept it. You scored 15 goals in 29 games. You're out. I think it's less than that. (laughs) Especially today, I think Fulham, Dave... Yeah, I think I think they're gone as well. I, know, I mean, I know it's Chelsea, but they've got to start picking up points against um, harder teams if they want to stay up. And I think they've just got to do it Huddersfield and start planning uh, yeah. the championship next yeah. season. If they keep Scott Parker on, then I think that that might be the uh, that might yeah be it, the good yeah. choice to do instead of bringing someone else in. Be nice but to I see him get the opportunity. That last place, I think it's out of um, Cardiff and Sampson. Yeah, yeah I agree. Completely agree. I think. Burnley, yeah, Newcastle, Brighton, that as well. and Crystal Palace. I think the top the four above them. I think they're all safe. I think they've got enough. Palace with getting in Batshuayi. Oh, like, that's a good monument. Like, yeah, like a lot of a lot of clubs around them don't like it because it's like a loanee from a club from a Premier League club to a Premier League club, and they think it's a bit unfair because he's so much better than the rest of the rest of the uh, rest of the players at the other clubs. But fair play to Palace for getting him in. But I'm not one of them who thinks it's a bad thing. He's immediately yeah. come into that squad and he's filled Benteke. You know, yep. He's doing what Benteke couldn't. And as a Palace I just feel like him and Zaha are going to play so well together. I was, was going to say, like, he's, revi- he's revitalised Zaha five goals in five games. Yeah. Like, mm. Solid. Thing is, they're two fairly, fairly similar, I would say. Who's Zaha and Batshuayi? Yeah. Whereas Batshuayi is the man in the middle. Yeah. And obviously when think... Townsend's fully fit. Yeah, yeah. Having him in the middle between the two will be amazing. It must be quite good to be a uh, Crystal Palace fan with them. them uh, three it's promising. Forward anyway. And when you've got I mean, Rox I'm not, I'm not... in midfield like Luka Milivojevic. Yeah, he's a beast. And you've got like, the young talents of Juan Pisaka coming through as well. It's only the yeah, Pisaka, without a doubt. I love Joe Ward, but out of doubt, Juan Pisaka is the complete wing back compared to Ward. Just, just a mention for uh, Roy Hodgson as well. Like, oh. what a manager! What a job he's doing! <laughs> <laughs> like, oldest manager to win a game, be part, be in a game. What a job he's doing! Not gonna lie, he, when he joined, I was thinking, what have we got ourselves into? Why? You know, a year down the line, uh, I'm happy. I like him now. I've gone from hating the man to thinking, yeah, and it, what he's done at Palace is monumental. Is really mm. changed the game for us, keeping us up the season. That's all we hope for. We're not, we're not looking at anything else out of the season now. We've pretty much kept ourselves up. Are you? Are you you're still in the FA Cup, I think, aren't you? So yeah. You can, so got Watford. Obviously, obviously, I slated the FA Cup earlier, but if you're in it, then happy days, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, so. it's, <laughs> that's something something extra. to look forward to as a fan. Yeah. If we yeah. get past Watford, Obviously, we'll always go out in the fucking third round. So. Right. so. <laughs> Always normally to Cheltenham or Bristol <laughs> City. Uh, we've had, to be. We we've had quite an year. easy road. We've had quite an easy mm-hmm. road to the FA Cup. Obviously, uh, having Donny in the last round. And um, to, yeah. to be fair to him, they, they, they did, did did a good job at Donny. Yeah. yeah. Must... And, uh, no, another team, sorry. Um, well, Arsenal Spurs. Arsenal Spurs. That was another Ooh. game. Dirty yeah, game. Very dirty. It was a bit naughty, wasn't it? 
There's a few, um, there's a few you fights would, you would expect that. that to be fair, wouldn't you? Was it Shaka, I think, was it on Kane early on, and then Rose on the keeper as well with the studs? <laughs> yeah, up. I saw that one. I don't know. And then you obviously have Torreira at the end, obviously getting sent off for actually quite a bad challenge as well. What, what oh, I loved was, I love what I loved was Steve, Steve McManaman going, oh, that's just a nice challenge. Oh, he's just, he's won the ball there on BT Sport. And <laughs> straight after this, you just realise the studs are in. You're like, oh, BT dear. Sport. <laughs> what a joke. He's won anyway, the ball. Yeah. <laughs> he's won the ball, but broken his leg. Who cares? Anyway. Uh, <laughs> What's this game come to, eh? I think with Spurs, it is a lack of squad depth. Yeah, I mean, oh, oh, wow. so I think it's Harry Kane season. more. I think yeah. it's more Harry Kane. Like <laughs> him coming back in um, after they they won four in a row, I think before he came back in. Now it's one yeah. point from the last three. <laughs> yeah, Poch didn't chuck him straight back in like that. It must have dented all the players' confidence. They managed to win those yeah. last four games without Kane. So, but you, agree. No. You, you don't change a winning team, do you? You just don't. No, There's no yeah. need. Like, especially if he's coming back from fitness. I know Kane's like the golden boy of English football, but it's like he, he, Son's been playing so well without him, and then he comes back in, and he's just he's just not firing anymore. Son, he's just not the same player with it, like when he's not the main man. Like, it's, if Kane's firing and like playing well and linking up, then Son might be able to get in and around and play well. But it's just he's just obviously he's come straight back in, and he's just yeah. he's, he's they've just removed that like sort of energy. There was no need to yeah. rush him in, to be fair. So obviously, on there wasn't. That streak, no. But... <sighs> but I must say as well, Spurs, bloody hell, they can't even. What are they doing? Seriously, like <laughs> you, th- you think you think you can't get worse than them, disappointing wise? But they can't even live up to the hype of maybe not drawing a game for the whole season. Like you yeah. think, what? They, how many games was it? <laughs> was it twenty-eight or something? And you were like, no, draws. You're like, this could be exciting. This could be a season to remember that the no draw season. They can't even do that right now. It's just turned into a complete, pretty boring season. It's just gone back to normal. <laughs> no one drawable season. Oh god, it's just it's annoying. Like they, I, my brother showed me a meme of um, of Spurs like raising a trophy, obviously, and it said no draws, and then that was cost down. Like, they can't even do that right. Can't win trophies. <laughs> can't, <laughs> can't can't do this. What a joke! It's just annoyed me because I love a good stupid record. So. <laughs> so I think I think one player I'd single out is Moussa Sissoko as well. He's 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 come into his own this past year. A year ago, I wouldn't mm. have said anything good about the man, but I think yeah. he, you know, he's enjoying his football. He's confident. He's he's, he's done well. Of, of decent considering player. they've not signed anyone to replace uh, Moussa Dembele. Yeah, what yeah, a player he was, and um, he's like kind of replaced him there. He's slotted in, done the job he's needed to do, and. He's got he's like a workhorse, box to box midfielder. Just quite, he's great. He's reminded me a lot of Mr. Dembele, and yeah. I, I wouldn't think I would say that because like he was so good at what he did. But Sissoko has reminded me game of, like more game he play games he plays, the more he's reminded me of him, which I think. Yeah, good. I, it's, it's just weird though because it's just he when you look at him, he's so clumsy on the ball still. Like, he, he, but his physical like physical presence gets him out of trouble and it's and and because he's got confidence now he can actually when he when he may maybe may had a bad touch he can react and maybe pass it on afterwards yeah so yeah like i think it's just a complete confidence thing i think with him like he, he's obviously been a player in there with newcastle like he was obviously really doing really well he was the man yeah and now he's just come back in and with spurs and he's really really put in a shift I think it's those sorts of players you need when you're at a club who, you know, rarely signs. Yeah. You need it, exactly. It's, it's a bit of a workhorse. Mm. I think um, another player for Spurs actually, Davidson Sanchez. Not quite. Yeah, he was shocking yesterday. He, I felt. Yeah, he went great, was he? Mm. Like, I think I, I think, think he was the first goal that he was mistaken for. Well, Ramsey's obviously he just dipped that, dived in when he shouldn't have. The um, problem with Sanchez is all season he's just been average. You yeah, know, he's that centre back. He's that centre back. You look at and think he should be doing so much more. I think where he's quite young and was young when he signed, there was a lot of hype around him. Yeah, and he's not quite lived up to he's that. Not, he's just not improved at all, in my opinion. That's the problem. Like you would expect with that young centre back, seem like you, you might you don't expect them to be amazing at the beginning, but you expect over like a couple of seasons they're going to get a little bit better, a little bit. But he's just not even done that. He's just been bang average, as Jay said. Hmm. Yeah. Do you remember he was injured for a lot of the start of the season as well, though, to be fair. 
So, yeah, uh, but he's yeah. Been the whole season. So. I, just, I, just, I just couldn't see why Pochini didn't bring him off yesterday because, like, I thought I thought that was they were, Arsenal were there for the take-in after Özil came on. I thought like they were playing three at the back and they what took off when Yama and put on Lamelo or something and moved Ericsson back and Ericsson in like holding the field or whatever he was. It's just it's not just wasted. Effective. It's not effect. It's effective. You bring on like I don't know, Harry Winks or someone and Musa so then you put Harry and then Winks. you have four up front like yeah. Kane, Ericsson, Lamelo and Son or whatever up there and get rid of Sanchez and you, and then you can you can like hit them where it hurts when Urza with Mkhitaryan and Anabami hang on the pitch. Like that's not that much. There's not much defensive defensive for Unity going on there, but from that from them guys. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's what um, I felt anyway. But who, who's me to judge Pochettino? He's a Premier League manager, and I'm not. So, but well, you, you, okay. you do, you but do that's dabble a... into football manager. Let's not forget. Yeah, 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 yeah. It does get quite so well, well at Littleton as a player. <laughs> yeah. Well, of course, of course, yeah, yeah. <laughs> mention I'm Ian just going to mention actually. Um, <laughs> is uh, Peter Crouch nearly scoring? That was one yeah. hell of a effort. Yeah, I wasn't so happy about that, but yep. we were. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I liked it though. Just just him back in the Premier League, I think, made everyone a little bit happier. Does he still like, hold the just... stat of scoring a goal every Premier League season he's been in? A pop bar this season. Be. I know he's got the most goals for headers in the Premier League. I think yeah. that's, one, that's one of his records, which I love. I would have liked to see Eski have that. Uh, oh, and, he's oh. part, and, he's part of the, and he's part of the 100 club, and that's yeah. his quality for Crouch. I want to see Crouch so, keep that. If he has got that record, it might just be me making it up. But mm. I'm, I swear he had that record at one point. Where uh, every yeah, season he maybe. In, he'd score. He's a top player, though. I mean, you could, oh, uh, yeah. I've never met anyone who doesn't like Crouch. And if they do, if anyone doesn't like Crouch, then there's something seriously fundamentally wrong with him. Well, he's just so, a presence, <laughs> isn't he? He's a presence yeah. up front. You see, you are defending against him. You, no, you're going to shit bricks. bring on later on in the game. When you're tired yeah. as a defender, and to bring that man on, oh, last thing you need. <laughs> big Peter Crouch, or as my pro club name was, Peter Pouch. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Peter Pouch. Got love Peter, Peter Pouch. Pouch. <laughs> uh, Papa Square, that's, that's, that's oh. the best one, I feel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we have to bring them back one day. Yeah. <laughs> I think like Newcastle oh, are in a bit of a way, isn't they? With all the whole Ashley, is he selling? Is he not? That is just like they've got such a good manager. That is yeah, just it Benito's for me. Just quality. It's just bizarre, mm. really, with Newcastle. Just Matt Ashley every year decides he's going to try and sell the club during January to put in a transfer embargo, <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then obviously at the end he's just like, "Nah, you're all right." He keeps the club and pisses off all the fans. So I kind of, I sort of admire him for doing that because he just annoys all the fans. <laughs> but the fans obviously don't deserve that. No, so it's, it's just it's just a massive troll, really. That's, that's what he is. Yeah. And big club, uh, big club. They are. He's in a position where he can do it. Obviously, being the businessman, he's didn't he buy out House of Fraser as well? Anyway, that's away from football. Yeah. But um, yeah, yeah. Newcastle, they're they're in a bit of a state, but they're getting there. Benitez, yeah, well, you're on the helm. Uh, you can't really argue. But they're going to. They're not going to get relegated. I think, as I said, I think it's between Southampton and Cardiff. But I'm think hoping Southampton. I think Cardiff have had a really bad, really bad run of luck. Obviously, yeah. with events, and I'd like to see Cardiff stay up, if not for Warnock. He's really put a shift. Yeah, there. I think out Cardiff Southampton though. Cardiff got a lot more harder games to finish up the season with than Southampton. So do they? Yeah, oh, a lot. Um, of... fish list. Oh, okay. Who have they got? Do you know? Um, well, the big teams, I'll just say the big teams they got. they still got Chelsea okay. to play, Man City, Palace, Liverpool, Palace, and United. <laughs> Palace. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, get that one in there. <laughs> yeah. Um, that's it. How many games left? Like nine or something? Yeah, that's not great, yeah. is it? That's but not what, great. It's mm-hmm. more of a hope that they stay up. I don't like Vincent Tan, but... I can't really look at that Cardiff squad and say that there's players I don't like. I mean, who many ass? <laughs> I, I completely agree. Mm. Like, yes, they you are. Just look at Sol Bamba's face, and I just went to go. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'll I, get my, yeah, I'll I'll get think, my Cardiff I, shirt. I think, on. I think with Cardiff, they just need to do what, like Huddersfield did last season. Just stay up this season, have yeah. a bit of fun, have, make treat the fans to a good stay, and then next season just have a big, you know, fail and. 
drop out of the league, get back into the champ where they probably belong. <laughs> so, um, yes, yeah, I mean, obviously, if you just stay in one season and then have a bad season, then I think the fans will be happy that they had that one season when they actually stayed up. Yeah. Who knows? They may may well go on a spending spree in the summer if they stay up, and they may well do a Burnley. But I feel like that's where we went wrong a little bit. Splash the money on stupid signings like Radanan <laughs> Sobi, who oh, yeah. Sobe, who Beautiful. I'm not going to go into detail about because I actually <laughs> despise the man, and I'm glad he's gone back to <laughs> Egypt. Hopefully, he don't come back. <laughs> as as you're paying for his wages um, yeah Congolo as well he's been alright this season but he's just not been the same player he was 17 you've got Mercer million, isn't you so Steve Moody yeah um, and then yeah just certain players haven't performed again this year so just been in trouble really Ben Hamer's been a line, uh, highlight not <laughs> uh, are, you being, are you being serious or not I can't actually tell no he's been terrible <laughs> good <laughs> I like Zanga. <laughs> he's, he's not even been making the squad, so well, he's been the bench yeah. after some. So, yeah, I, th- it's, I think it's... I think we didn't even I didn't, we didn't touch on Arsenal earlier, did we? We were talking about the um, North um, uh... No, we didn't actually. I think yeah. Emery is pretty much doing the same same job Wenger was on a low amount of money, you know. Is, yeah. is there much yeah, more he can do? He's think... trying to bring his approach to the game. Over Arsenal, which is going to take right. time. I think. I think if you are, I think if you ask the board if if they would take where Emery is right now, I think they would have taken it. I think you look to what happened with United after so Alex left with David Moyes, absolute shambles. You think, tell him, tell him Emery coming in, pretty much being exactly the same as the Fenger. I think they'll take that because at least they're keeping the fans re-engaged really and getting them more inside that now they've got a new man in. Yeah, it's so different. Think, yeah. I, I think he won't be judged on this season anyway. I think next season or the season after, I think he's... I think they're quite happy with the mobile so far, to be yeah. honest. I think, and they got well unlucky yesterday, obviously, with the penalty at the end. It's like, what? <laughs> Aubameyang should really be dispatching that. Um, it's heartbreaking. But, yeah. So, yeah, it was like, what, four minutes away from winning there? First on London derby against Spurs in quite a few years, isn't it, or something? Yeah. yeah at Spurs. So... Yeah, and if they won that game, they're back in top four as well. So, yeah, so they'd been happy with top four with new manager first season. Oh, Still only one yeah. manager, so, any manager finishing top four apart from Wenger, they'd be happy with. I still have a sneaky feeling they're going to get it, but that's just my opinion. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Man United for me. I, I, I just See, think, I just think Chelsea. Uh, obviously, there's got too much going on with Sarri. And yeah. I think United, I think we stop, I think Man United have got quite a few games, hard games going up, and obviously their squad now is starting to tail off a bit. Yeah, yeah. Obviously they have like t- t- Pereira and Tomine playing yesterday, and they only just scraped past <laughs> Hampton. So I think, anyway, that's my opinion. I don't, you know, no one pays me for my opinions. So I just want to give it anyway. <laughs> I think I'll... So... <laughs> I'll put a cheeky mention for Wolves. You know, they they've slashed the cash, and it has worked. Whether it'll work next season, that's a different question, but a little quick mention yes. for Wolves. And I think we'll pretty much round off our weekend results talk and covered a lot of teams. If you know, We've missed out certain teams like Bournemouth or Leicester. It's because they ain't doing much. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so we'll round that off. And um, I think I'll thank you guys for coming on the podcast. Uh, cheers, Tony. Thanks for having me. Cheers, cheers Jay. And you, Ben. Even though, <laughs> even though you don't say too much, you're not the charismatic <laughs> enigma that you should be. Anyway, I think I will leave it at that. If you want to slag the podcast off, please do. I love it. All the comments I read. If you like, like the podcast, give it a like and a subscribe. And thank you very much, guys. Have a good one. <laughs>